Folklorians and welcome to episode 18 of Harry Potter Folklore. This week's episode is about Alistair Mad-Eye Moody. Everything you need to know about the infamous Auror. I really hope you enjoy this episode and please make sure to click that like button if you do. He is considered to be the most famous Auror of modern times and was also a pivotal member of the Order of the Phoenix during the First and Second Wizarding Wars. This is Alistair Moody revealed. Alistair Mad-Eye Moody was a pure-blood wizard and served as Auror for the Ministry of Magic. Moody served with distinction during the Force Wizarding War, gaining a considerable reputation as well as losing an eye, leg and part of his nose while fighting Dark Wizards and Death Eaters. As a result, Moody became overly cautious and paranoid about his security. Moody was described as having a growling voice and looking as though his face was roughly carved from wood. Due to injuries from his long career as an Auror, it was covered with scars and a chunk of his nose was missing. He had dark grey, grizzled hair. He also had a wooden leg. His eyes, however, were described as his most shocking feature. One was small and dark, while the other was a vivid electric blue magical eye that moved around independently from his normal eye, giving him the nickname of Mad Eye Moody or simply Mad Eye. This eye could see through objects, invisibility cloaks and the back of his own head. Alistair Moody was a tough, brave and consummate survivor. He had a gruff, surely disposition and frequently bellowed his mantra of constant vigilance at people in order to keep them on their guard. Having encountered many dangerous experiences throughout his career, he was hyper paranoid and thought of by many as being delusional. He prepared all of his own meals and drank only from his personal flask in case someone tried to poison him. He was also very distrusting of most people, being very careful of who he relied facts about his personal life to, keeping what he considered to be important information back from even his colleagues and superiors in the Ministry of Magic, such as his birthplace and which house he was sorted into during his attendance at Hogwarts, the latter probably with keeping in mind that the house could identify some of his more essential personality traits, making it easier for the enemy to find weaknesses in his psychological defences. He had a well-known habit of being set off by sudden noises or movements in his presence and even attacked a witch who shouted BOO at him on April Fool's Day. Moody was a great wizard in his day and the most effective dark wizard hunter that the Ministry of Magic ever had. He was also a staunchly loyal friend, supporter of Albus Dumbledore and one of the Order of the Phoenix's most powerful and reliable allies. He had extraordinary skill in many disciplines of magic. He was an expert at least in charms, transfiguration, defensive magic, herbology and potions. Moody's greatest skill was his versatility. While most are skilled in different areas of magic but best at one specific kind, Moody reportedly had fully mastered several. He was a master of both offensive and defensive magic, the hallmarks of an Auror's trade, which he employed so effectively that he personally ensured that half the cells of Azkaban were filled with Death Eaters. He was also capable of placing powerful protective enchantments on the headquarters of the Order as a means of warding off Death Eaters, wards of such strength that not even Lord Voldemort could penetrate them. In the midst of the Force Wizarding War and in its aftermath, Moody fought and defeated dozens of skilled Death Eaters. He was also known to cast spells with a staff which gave him an extra advantage in case he was deprived of his wand. Alistair often restrained himself from inflicting fatal injuries and tried to take his opponents alive, which may have resulted in his permanent physical injuries. After years of retirement, it is implied that Moody's dueling skills may have grown rusty. Peter Pettigrew and Barty Crouch Jr. were able to subdue Moody at his own home, despite his owning several dark detectors that could warn him of danger, and they beat him before Ministry agents could arrive on the scene. During the Battle of the Department of Ministries, Moody fought two at once and defeated one of his opponents with a single non-verbal spell. 
Lord Voldemort himself considered Moody to be the most skilled Auror during the Battle of the Seven Potters and the one most likely guarding the real Harry Potter. He targeted him first and killed him before pursuing Kingsley Shacklebolt. It should be noted that the killing course Voldemort cast only hit Moody because Mundungus Fletcher, the intended target, disapparated. Many members of the Order of the Phoenix were devastated by Moody's death. He died while doing what he was best known for, safeguarding the Wizarding World. His legendary status will be forever cemented in Wizarding folklore. Thank you very much for watching this video and please 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 click this subscribe button for more videos from Harry Potter folklore. Thank you.